Hey everyone, welcome back to Animotion. In this tutorial today, I'm gonna show you how to do the page flip animation or page turn animation in After Effects. So I'm gonna start with creating an animated background, but instead of creating it from scratch like I always do, I'm gonna use this plugin called AE Juice. I've put the link in the description below for you if you wanna download it. And once you download it, you can go to Window and then select AE Juice Pack Manager 4, and it's just gonna show up um, this tab over here. So it basically has a lot of pre-made animation and transitions and you can basically just kind of like double click on it and then it'll show up on your composition. I'm not going to explain all of these in detail. I'm just going to use this animated backgrounds right here. So they have two styles. Um, they're quite similar, but I'm just going to use the first one. So I'm just going to double click on that and it will automatically generate on your composition. It's going to minimize that for now. And basically, if you want to download it uh, using my link in the description below, I would make a little commission that would support my little channel. So you don't have to download it from that link. But if you do want to support my channel, I would be very much appreciated if you can download it through the link in the description below. And thank you in advance. So going back to this background gradient again, so I'm just going to put it down here. And I'm gonna double click on it and basically it has this control layer so if you click on that layer you go to effect controls you can change the colors right and I already have the color palette of my own so I'm gonna use that and basically I'm just gonna open a new com viewer by clicking that blue text and then on the right viewer here I'm gonna click on the blue text again and I'm gonna select animation page flip which is my main com and then basically I'm just gonna select the colors from my little color palette here so there you go it's so easy to use now going back to the main com again we're gonna create a solid layer I'm just gonna close this second com viewer so we're gonna click solid right click new solid I'm gonna call this paper one and um, for the size I'm gonna do 1080 and 1280 and for the color, I'm going to just choose that light color if it can choose. Okay, for some reason, it doesn't choose it. So I'm going to hit Control Shift Y and then select this light color. And I'm going to right click it and then I'm going to pre comp this solid layer. I'm going to call this Paper 1 and make sure you choose Leave All Attributes and then hit OK gonna adjust the size a little bit and maybe even the rotation a little bit like that and I'm gonna go inside of the paper one layer and basically I'm just gonna type in something here like page flip animation and then go back to the main comp so it's like that and now we're gonna put the effects so under effects and preset type in page turn drop that onto the layer and basically as you can see if you see on your screen here um, there's this little circle icon and you can basically just animate the flip using that circle icon you can also animate that using this hold position right here but I personally just like to do it from here and I'm just going to explain it real quick on what, what are these settings are. So the first one is controls. So it's set to bottom right corner. It just means that it starts from this bottom right corner. So you can change it to top left corner like that. So it's like that. And top right corner and then bottom right corner. So it's really up to you how you want to do this. I'm just going to use the bottom right corner I just want to kind of mimic the like a book flipping pages for position it's basically what you're gonna animate later but I'm not gonna use that manually I'm just gonna do it from the screen here and then there's the fold radius it's basically just the radius of the fold obviously I'll show you what it looks like so the bigger it is the bigger the radius is I usually like to keep it big um, just because I don't know I just like the look of it and you can also change the light directions so at the moment it has like highlight and 
if you change the direction so that it has shadows you can do that too and then the render at the moment is set to front and back page we're gonna leave that as front and back page for now it just means that it um, rendered bo both the front and back page but if you change it to back page it just renders the back page and obviously front page just renders the front page but front and back page obviously it renders both and then there's the back page settings here it's basically you can customize what your back page is at the moment it's just kind of like mirroring your front page so it's like that which i don't usually or normally like so what i usually do is just creating another solid so solid and then you can select the color that you want i'll probably just use this like slightly darker cream color and then i'm gonna put it down here just turn it off and i'm gonna name it back page and then if you click on the paper one layer again and you can set the back page to for back page so it's like that and then there's the back opacity at the moment it's a bit transparent set it as 85 but i like to bring it up to 100 so that it's kind of like solid all right so we're gonna animate the fold position now i'm gonna create a keyframe from this tab here just click on the stopwatch icon and then if I hit you to show the keyframe, I'm gonna go to two seconds and basically I'm gonna move this icon to kind of like that. So it's kind of like there. So it doesn't fold all the way like that. So it's just like that. So basically I don't want it kind of to go over this three dots on the left. And then going back to the very first keyframe, I'm gonna make it flat like this something like this and then I'm gonna select the keyframes hit F9 so if we preview it it's just like that now I'm just gonna kind of create another keyframe here in the middle just so that when the page turns it kind of like goes up a little bit just to give it a bit more dimension so it's like that now maybe I want to make the fold radius a bit bigger just like that so now that I'm happy with the movement and I'm just double checking with the light direction, see if I actually, I'm actually happy with it. Just want to make it a bit darker like that. All right. So that's pretty much it. If you want to just do like one flip, obviously that's it. Um, but I'm just going to make it a bit fancy. So basically I'm going to pre-comp this again and make sure you select move all attributes. I'm going to call it paper one underscore any for animation I'm gonna change the layer color and then I'm gonna duplicate this twice one two and I'm gonna select the two bottom layers and then right click go to time and enable time remapping and basically as we know the animation stops at two seconds so I'm just gonna create keyframe over there and then go to the very last keyframe and we can delete that because we don't really need it now I'm just gonna stagger this a little bit so like that and that so that way the page is kind of like opening up one by one just like that now obviously as we can see here the first couple of frames it's fine like it looks great but then towards the end when the back page kind of like going on top of each other it just kind of like does that thing this is where the rendering front page and back page comes in so if we go inside the paper one any and we're just gonna select this paper and instead of render front and back page i'm gonna select just the front page so we're just rendering the front page here let's go back to the main comp so obviously we don't have the back page the next thing you want to do is to basically duplicate this composition and just render the back page so go under your project look for paper one any and then just duplicate that by hitting ctrl d and then i'm gonna call this underscore back and basically i'm gonna select all this and duplicate it and just click and drag it to the top and i'm gonna change the layer color so that we know it's the back page 
page. Once you select all three top layers, just drag this paper one any back while holding Alt Shift and then just replace them. So it replaced it with this new composition. Now go inside the paper any back and then select this red layer. Go under your effect controls and basically you want to change the render to back page. So if we go back to the main comp, the back page is separated from the front page, right? And then what you want to do here is to swap around the order so this one is at the top this one should be on the bottom and this one should be second so that way when it kind of like flips back like that it flips back accordingly so that does it nicely um, now what I want to do is to create different content for every page so basically we're gonna leave the paper back as is because the, they're not gonna be different but we're gonna change the paper one here so I'm gonna just right click and reveal reveal layer source and project and basically I'm gonna duplicate it twice and I'm gonna name this paper to any and paper free any and as per usual i'm gonna select this second cyan layer and click paper to any hit alt shift and then drag it to the layer to replace it same with this one hold alt shift and then drag it to the last cyan layer so there's like paper one paper two and paper three so let's go inside the paper to any first and basically we have this paper one right so you want to hit reveal reveal layer source and project and then this one i'm gonna duplicate it twice again so one two now i'm gonna replace this paper one with paper two if we go back to the main comb go to paper free any and then we're gonna replace this with paper free now we can change the content let's go to paper two first i'm gonna change this text to say maybe hello that works and then we're gonna go to paper fray and then we'll say bye so now when you animate it it all has the different content now I'm just gonna select all the cyan and yellow layers and then pre comp it and then I'm just gonna call it book change the layer color and now basically you can adjust this so if you want to make it smaller rotate it a little bit even maybe put a wiggle a little bit position and then wiggle to five and yeah that's how you create a page flip animation thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoy that if you have any question leave it in the comments below i'll try to answer them but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.